Ladies and gentlemen, the Durham Probe Special Counsel has a new trial attorney, which is very important, actually, from the Counterintelligence and Export Control Section of the Department of Justice. In addition to John Durham taking the reins, according to the Washington Examiner, and being the lead prosecutor and attorney at trial, the Counterintelligence and Export Control Section of the Department of Justice supervises the investigation and prosecution of cases affecting national security, foreign relations, and the export of military and strategic commodities and technology. I'm reading from justice.gov, the DOJ's website. They have an attorney now, uh, a top attorney that they just added to the team, the Durham Probe team, and you might say, well, nothing's ever going to happen. Just write a fifty, sixty thousand dollar check to the Democratic National Committee. Just do so. If you think nothing's ever gonna happen, you can't like these people can't always commit crimes and set up and frame incoming candidates with impunity. It's not always gonna happen. You're gonna have an impeachment in a couple of months, actually by next year. You'll have everybody from Marjorie Taylor Green to Rand Paul to Lauren Boebert to Jim Jordan to Ron Johnson, to everybody. Trump Republicans will take over the House and the Senate. I mean, if you don't... I can't understand it. We're, we're in a recession. It's only going to get worse. And so the polls, they, they're showing that uh, Democrats are going to take the Senate. That's... You keep the Senate. That's absurd. But anyway, I'll keep reading. Rome wasn't built in a day, people. My God. You have to like... This is a special council. Okay, this isn't a, like a stupid message board that was a hoax from a Democratic operative, almost certainly. This is a special counsel. And yeah, it, it, they didn't get uh, Sussman convicted, but you know what? It was the first time ever in a court of law that Robbie Mook and Mark Elias pointed the finger directly at Hillary Clinton and said, yeah, she committed a criminal act. And... You might say, well, it's not really a criminal act. Funneling false information to media, knowing that it's false because you purchased it, is part of an overall crime. Okay, there's, it, it's, it's, there's the 18 uh, U.S. Code, um, the one, the statute that they were trying to go after Trump, the statute that I wrote about in The Federalist, <laughs> about Comey and McCabe. Uh, let's see, if you just type in H.A. Goodman Federalist, I can, my, I'm like... My mind is, uh, Comey and McCabe should be, you can just type, I'm looking it up myself. Comey and McCabe should be charged with the following statute. You can look it up, 18, 371, 18 U.S. Code 371. You could, I had to look up myself in my, the author page of the Federalist. So, Comey and McCabe should be charged with conspiring to defraud Americans uh, under 18 U.S. Code 371. That's also what you could use to charge Madam Secretary in addition to 18 U.S. Code 371 for transferring top secret and special access program intelligence onto servers outside of the United States government. Now, I don't know. I don't want Hillary Clinton indicted. I don't. I don't. Honestly, I want her to run and be nominee of the Democratic Party. Again, what I want, I mean, before I used to say, oh, you know, Clinton will get indicted because Comey will obviously know. Uh, Inspector Clouseau will obviously realize that transferring top secret and special access program intelligence onto servers running outside of the United States government is an obvious crime. How they transferred that information, that classified data, nobody knows. Apparently, Strzok and McCabe and, and Clapper and Comey and Brennan don't know. But anyway, you could have easily indicted Clinton under 18 U.S. Code 371. However... I um, I want a Hillary Trump 2024. We need that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, not 371. What was that? 18 U.S. Code. What was the... Okay, <laughs> now I'm looking. Uh, 18 U.S. Code. 793F. There you go. See, with Trump, there is no... There are no statutes that he broke. 793F. Okay. 
Okay, anyway, I want Hillary Clinton, uh, Hillary Trump 2024. Hillary Clinton becomes nominee. I will have called it for six years. But not only that, I'll get the pleasure and enjoyment. And the world will be able to see every wonderful, highly educated, morally superior liberal Democrat saying vote for Madam Secretary again, which honestly should be better than, than Biden. Uh, but I also believe that Trump would defeat Madam Secretary again. But anyway, that's a whole other story. I'm just going all over the place. Hit subscribe to this channel. Hit subscribe to the stock market crash and the nuclear confrontation channel. If you want to support my work, my Patreon is below. To my new Patreons, thank you. I'll have a live stream tonight at around uh, 9 o'clock. I'll have a ni live stream every day from here on out, like forever. Is you know I might take a day off or two days off, but I'll generally have a live stream all the time. So hit subscribe. Be here for the live stream at around 9 p.m. Pacific. Uh, to my super thanks, if you want to give a super thanks, thank you so much. To read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, other publications, go to hagoodman.com. I am updating that website. And if you look at the Department of Justice, they're adding uh, the, the, the counterintelligence and export control section has executive responsibility for authorizing the prosecution of cases under criminal statutes relating to espionage, sabotage, neutrality, and atomic energy. Mm. Gosh, where was where, where were these people when the Uranium One sale was going on? Oh, you can't prove anything. It proves legal advice to U.S. It provides legal advice to U.S. Attorney's Office and, and investigative agencies on all matters within its areas of responsibility, including 88 federal statutes affecting national security. It also coordinates criminal cases involving the application of classified information in addition to Section Administrative and Enforcement of the Foreign Agents Registration Act of 1938 and related disclosure statutes. Now, there's an attorney that's, that's being added on to this. Why is that important, ladies and gentlemen? There are a lot more statutes involved. There are five counts. Sussman only had one count, and that wasn't even like... People say, "Well, he didn't get indicted, or he didn't get prosecuted. Like, who got one month? Would you be Would you be so happy if he got one month in in prison? He would have gotten one or two months. Then it would have been, oh, they never serve lengthy prison sentences. It would it'd always be it would be something. It would only it would always be something. But anyway, um, Rome wasn't built in a day. My God, and this is an actual special counsel." So we're going to have the House Republican, Trump Republicans in the House. They're going to impeach mashed potato brains with, like, with actual evidence that he committed crimes. You cannot meet with the foreign operatives doing business with Hunter at the White House and lie about it. Because he did. Because that's what Matt, like Joe did. So the president lied about that. And you would have to actually, if, if, if there's a morally superior, wonderful, highly educated liberal Democrat that's actually listening to this, you'd actually have to read the New York Post and the Washington Times and the Federalist and the Wall Street Journal and publications that actually, and the Daily Mail and publications that actually published, I mean, I know it's difficult, morally superior, highly educated liberal Democrat, I know it's very difficult to do, but you would have to actually read the emails that Hunter wrote, that he, that his business associates wrote pertaining to Joe Biden. You would have to actually read the evidence, not somebody said that Trump threw his, his dinner at the wall. And then Trump, according to people, knowing that according to a, a person's proctologist's neighbor's uh, second cousin's twice removed, that he, he lunged at a Secret Service agent. Oh, my God. You don't know any of any of this is true. It's all hearsay and gossip. We have the actual emails. 150 uh, suspicious financial transactions deemed suspicious by the by the banks for Hunter, James, Joe, all of these people. I mean, you have the money flow, you have the emails, you have people willing to testify in a criminal tr case, not just an impeachment. They didn't impeach Trump on crimes. They impeached Trump on the, their sensibilities. Oh, I can't believe he would he would strong arm another country to investigate Joe. He didn't do that. 
Even the president of that country said, yeah, that never happened. But you, the impeachment with, with Biden will actually be criminal statutes broken. Anyway, give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel. Be here tonight for the live stream at 9 p.m. I will have a segment in a couple of hours at around 12.30 p.m. So be here at 12.30 p.m. Thank you.